Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. As you can see, we are at the Vancouver airport and guess where we're going guys? We are going to Cebu, Philippines. That is right guys, we are going to take you on amazing food tours through Cebu guys. I cannot wait. But first, we have to board a 14 hour flight. Are you ready for that Alfonso? I am not because that tomorrow we're still on the plane. <laughs> it is a long flight, but this airline is really, really nice guys. And they are gonna be serving food a lot. So I'm gonna show you guys what this airline serves. This is called Katy Airline. And apparently it is really nice. I think it's a double decker. I don't think I've ever been on a double decker uh, airplane before, but guys, we are gonna take you on this food tour starting here in the Vancouver and we will meet you guys in Philippines and on that note let's get on that plane Okay guys, so we just sat down on Cathay Airlines and when you sit down, you get blankets, blankets and pillows, which is great guys. And these actually feel like heavy blankets and really good pillows. What do you think of the pillows? I think they'll get awesome. You, these are so squeezy. Yeah, these are so good. Let's talk about the chairs guys. The chairs are actually squishy and soft and I feel like you can have a good sleep. And then what else do you get equipped with? some headphones. headphones we have our own headphones but i think that's pretty cool that they're giving to each person that's on the airline and you got a tv screen here with tons of videos we're gonna get more into it later guys and what is this oh that's let's see oh oh i guess my water. you could put your water there what else could you put here maybe your phone okay what else is there oh oh you yeah, here oh Look wait, at that. Wait, if you do Ooh, that. it folds out. Oh. Nice. Oh, this is perfect. This is the perfect setup. Oh my god. This is almost like first class, but different. Nice. What else is there? There's <laughs> nothing, I guess. And then there's some oh. safety books and we got our ginger teas, guys. So um, when you're flying, you have to slice some ginger. Don't put water in it. Put it at the bottom of your cup. Then once you're through security, add hot water. Yep. And you got your ginger tea. So amazing. Yeah, that's too easy. That's too easy. Okay, guys, so the most important thing is the food. What are we going to get on this airline? So I want you to stay with me through this video. Alfonso's going to do the professional dessert tasting. What do you think? In the airplane. In the airplane, in the in air, on the way to Philippines. Yeah. Stay with us. So, guys, we haven't even taken off yet. And the, um, uh, what do you call that? The airline, airline, airplane lady, <laughs> she stewardess. There you go. She gave Alfonso a gift. It's like a toy um, airplane. What do you think, Alfonso? Whoa. Do you want me to open it for you? Yeah. Okay, let's open it. Oh, that's so cute. Ooh, Cate Pacific. Wow. What do you think? Cool. Oh, it's solid. Look at that, it's solid, guys. Look, you can even pull your table down and take off. You gotta take off this way, towards the camera, like this. And then to Cate Pacific, guys. And then they came across with a menu. This is the food menu. Um, so look at this, guys, supper. You get your choices of roast beef, potato salad, 
seafood oyster sauce, roasted chicken, macaroni and cheese. That's what Alfonso will like. Ice cream. <gasps> we have ice cream. He's getting that. Uh, then snacks, you get cup of noodles, fruits, assorted snacks. Breakfast, we get seasonal fruits, yogurt, um, butter, scrambled eggs, turkey sausage, uh, pork and shiitake mushroom kongi. That sounds fancy, you don't know what that is? Coffee, tea, Hong Kong style milk tea. That's cool, guys. Wait, I did not know something. Then you get your non-alcoholic beverages, wines, beers, spirits, spritz, whatever you say. Um, so yeah, guys, the food is coming. Okay, guys, our first meal has arrived and it has been like about two, two and a half hours since we took off. So here we got seafood. We got three different options here. This one is the seafood with rice and little Alfonso, he fell asleep as you can see right here. <laughs> And uh, yeah, he got the macaroni, and I'm not sure what else is on there. And then we got another one of the um, chicken. So let's start off with the seafood, guys. Let's go open it. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, okay. So we got seafood, rice, and broccoli. Cooked in an oyster sauce. What do we have over here? Oh, there's some potato and sliced beef. What else do we got? Butter, bread, cheese, crackers, and let's see, what is this? Oh, <gasps> gelato. Oh no, little Alfonso's sleeping. Hopefully it stays cold. Maybe I'll wake them up later. <laughs> okay, let's get into um, eating. Oh, they serve you with metal spoons. That's fancy. The other fancy thing too was that they asked, what did you want to drink? And we obviously have our ginger tea, but they were like, juice, pop, beer, wine. I was like, free? <laughs> yes. So, uh, but I got my ginger tea, so I'm good. All right, let's get into it. Rice, oh my God, that's hot. Some sort of seafood and broccoli. Little hesitant on the seafood, to be honest. Don't know what kind of seafood it is. Tastes like almost nothing with a little bit of so a hint of soya. There's a shrimp here. Oh, scallops. We're getting fancy here. Scallop. The shrimp is better than the scallop a little bit. It tastes like it needs salt. Do we have salt here? No. A tiny bit more salt, and this would actually be not too bad. Rice is good. Broccoli. Tastes like. Broccoli? <laughs> okay guys, this just needs a little bit more salt and it would be fine. I like the shrimp better than the scallop. But that is that. Let's get into this. Sliced beef and potato. Do you eat it at the same time? I don't know. Let's go separate. Sliced beef. It's like a like a roast beef, yeah. Potato salad. Potato salad is good. So far the tastiest thing is this one. Okay. So we got butter. We got saputo butter. And we got a bun. Let's get my, wow, I'm so impressed with the metal knives. Really? That is cool. We got the bun. It looks a little rough, but it's soft actually. <laughs> Bread and butter. 
wow. Wow. That was good. It looks rough. When I first saw it, I said, it's probably a little stale. But no, it's actually really soft and fluffy. See? Woo. So far, potato salad and the bread, is so, it's killing it right now. <laughs> um, we got cracker, cheese, cracker barrel. Well, we gotta try the gelato. Look at this. Mario's gelati. Ooh. Oh, it's from Vancouver. There must be a Mario's gelati. Oh, that's, oh my gosh. There's a famous gelato place that you took, Alfonso took me to by Commercial Drive. Oh, that's so cool. Oh no, it's, it's Alfonso's favorite is vanilla. He's gonna watch the video and be like, where's mine? <laughs> okay. Oh, I can smell the sugar. Guys, that is a decent size of gelato. Don't you think, Alfonso? Oh my gosh. Mmm, the vanilla. It is so good. I have to wake little Alfonso up. He'll be so like, I want to try it. Okay, guys. So, I'll tell you what was great. It was the potato salad, the bun, the cheese, ice cream. This lacked some flavor, to be honest. It looks a little sad. What do you expect from airplane food, though? So, we're going to get into the next one. Okay guys, we're on to the next one. It's the tomato and chicken, guys. I'm excited about this because I'm not a big fan of seafood and it comes with the same exact thing that we already had. It has the beef and the, the ice cream. So we're just gonna open this one. Oh, okay. Lot of potatoes, chicken and vegetable. Okay guys, let's get into it. Oh, that's a big size piece of chicken. Let's rip a bit off tomato chicken. Tender. Tender and juicy. Definitely needs salt. <laughs> it needs love. <laughs> but um, it's good. It's tender. It's soft. I mean, for airplane food, it's not that bad. Let's get into the potato. After having like the ice cream though, with like a lot of sweetness and flavor, it's like, oh, it goes back to the bland one. Yeah, it was good. Potato is seasoned. Potato is seasoned with salt. I think too, guys, that because it's like a mass like airplane, they have to make sure they don't salt it too much because some people don't like that much salt. Okay, let's try the vegetable. Crunchy. Mm. Better than the chicken for some reason. So, I'm thinking they have to keep it low sodium because they don't want too much salt on the chicken. The potatoes are really good, guys. Mm. Okay. Little Alfonso who's sleeping right here. He got the mac and cheese. I'm gonna see if he wants to wake up and try it. Okay guys, I tried to wake little Alfonso up, but he is such in a deep sleep right now. It's probably around three in the morning, but I tried to do the whole like, Alfonso, there's ice cream. Ice cream, your favorite. Nope, he's just like, bam, solid out. <laughs> okay, so let's not tell him the gelato came. <laughs> so he doesn't wake up like crying. Okay, let's see this one. Okay guys. Come on, tell me right now. Doesn't that look way more appetizing than the last two? <laughs> because to me, that looks good. <laughs> okay, let's try it. I wanted to try like all of the dishes that they had, guys. Um, but if I had to choose one, I would probably went with this. The 
better one. The better one out of the the two. It is creamy. Oh, there's three. <laughs> My bad. Hey, it's three in the morning. <laughs> um, guys, this has creaminess. This has cheesiness. This has more flavor. And mac and cheese is like, you can't go wrong with mac and cheese. Definitely better. So, I'm going to give this, I'm giving this a 6 out of 10. Okay, boom. That's a 6 out of 10. I am giving the tomato chicken 4 out of 10. Doom. And I am giving this seafood two. <laughs> because I, one, I'm not a big fan of seafood, and two, it didn't taste that good. <laughs> but um, I give the gelato a 10. Okay guys, we took a long nap, and now it is breakfast time. Little Alfonso woke up, and here's our breakfast. Thank you. So we have, um, I'll explain it in a minute. I'm just gonna give Alfonso his. <laughs> And so that one is the um, scrambled eggs with tomato, turkey, sausage, fried potatoes. Thank you. This one is the, oh, scrambled eggs. Another scrambled eggs with tomato, turkey, sausage, and fried potatoes. And then we have one more coming that's called pork and shiitake mushroom congee. Okay, guys. And then the next one is this one. It looks the same. <laughs> I have to open it for you guys. The shiitake mushroom congee not sure what that means <laughs> Ooh. okay this is the scrambled egg one scrambled egg turkey sausage and potatoes then over here we have a side of fresh fruit these are actually plastic cups guys and then we got some yogurt And then we got some bread and butter, guys. Nice. Okay, let me help Alfonso with his. Let's see what Alfonso got. Alfonso, I'm gonna open yours up. The same? Okay. He's got the same as mine. Scrambled eggs, potato, and turkey sausage. But, I'm gonna get Alfonso his fruits because he likes to start with fruit. There's fruit and yogurt, baby, and bread. Oh. Why, Mom? Why? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, those things happen on an airplane. <laughs> okay, guys, so this flight has been pretty good so far. Can I try your, um, the Hong Kong style milk yes, tea? Sure. And then, yeah, that's interesting. I've never tried Hong Kong style milk tea. Let's give Alfonso a fork. Here you go. Fork. Have your fruit. <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's start with the eggs. Scrambled eggs. Ah, they're mushy. They need salt. <laughs> Everything needs salt. <laughs> very, very mushy, like it was just cooked. Let's try the potato. I like the potato. I think Alfonso likes the potato too. Alfonso, you wanna try this potato? It's really good. It's really good, the potato. Okay, what do you think of the fruit? You gotta tell them. Oh, wow, he gave the fruit a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Here, have this one. Potato. Whoa. We're getting our milk, uh, Hong Kong style milk tea. Okay, go for it. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. The potatoes are actually good. They're seasoned. He'd probably like it more with ketchup. Okay, let's try the turkey sausage. Actually good. So my favorite is the potato and the sausage. 
me it gets kind of mushy and let's get into the fruit honeydew cantaloupe mm. it's good alfonso keeps munching down on it i think this dipped in the yogurt would taste even better Okay guys, Hong Kong style milk tea. What is this? Our layover is in Hong Kong, so I'm really excited to try it. If you can see inside of there, there looks like there's some sort of spice. I'm gonna say cinnamon? No, I don't know what that is. Oh my gosh. It's like a Tetley tea, but it's sweet and milky. Oh, it's totally different than I've ever tried. Hong Kong style milk tea. Mm. Okay, guys, that's good. Uh-huh. It's with the um, Oh. Uh, the traditional one is with pork. Uh -huh. Also with uh, condensed milk. Oh, it's it really, very nice. It's very good. Are, are you going to stay in Hong Kong? No, we're not. It's just a layover. But maybe I should try a it's tea there. You have some Hong Kong style milk tea in the, in the airport. airport. Yeah. I'll try it it's now. It's quite traditional. It's quite good. Yeah. And Thank you. Stronger. Yeah. Stronger. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. I can wake you up for the morning. <laughs> yeah, I feel good. <laughs> so guys, when we get to the airport in Hong Kong, we're going to have to try like the real authentic one. It's actually really good. Best thing I've had so far on this airplane. So I guess the next dish is the shiitake kongi mushroom never even heard about that so stay tuned okay guys moving on to the next breakfast dish now all of the sides are still the same you have your fruit your yogurt your bread but this is what's different let's take a look oh interesting i see the shiitake mushrooms i see the rice maybe and i've never seen anything like this before well it's called kongi on the menu, it's called pork and shiitake mushroom kongi. I've never had kongi before. I'm assuming you eat it with a spoon. Let's see. Is it rice? I don't even know. It looks like a porridge, but let's try it. It's like a porridge. It's like oatmeal, but not sweet. It's more savory. It's very um, porky flavored, actually. And I don't know if this is rice. If I, you guys can let me know in the comments below. What is kongi? <laughs> it tastes like rice. And then shiitake mushroom and pork. Let's get a little bit of that. Mm. The pork is actually good. It's salty. But if you eat just the kongi, I'm assuming the, the rice on its own, it doesn't have too much flavor. Um, and it's got some onions in there too. Wow, really interesting guys. So this is probably our last meal because we only have an hour and a half left till we're in Hong Kong. And the stewardess was telling me that when we get into the airport, the Hong Kong uh, style tea is really good. They do it better than on the airplane so she's like you have to try it. it is so good so i think after we get off we're gonna try this tea and uh guys let me know what you think of this airline catty pacific um yeah let me know That concludes our airline experience at Cathay Pacific, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Right now, we are in Hong Kong, guys. We're gonna be here for like two hours and then we go straight to Cebu. I am so excited, guys. So let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button because we are going on a Filipino food tour for 10 days, guys. I cannot wait to show you guys. And on that note, just keep on dancing. Keep on dancing.